If you've created fill-in forms in past versions of Word, you may find yourself in for a bit of a surprise in Word 2007 when you try to find the Forms toolbar. Word 2007 has some new content control features that they're expecting you to use, but you can still use the old legacy form features. You just need to know where to find them. They're located on the Developer tab, and you may notice there is no Developer tab. You need to turn that on. To display the Developer tab, I need to go to the Office button, Word Options, Show Developer tab in the ribbon. OK. And there it is. Now I have a Developer tab, and if I look on it, there is a group called Controls. And on this group are some different form type things, one of which is the Legacy Forms toolbar. If you're going to use this quite a bit, you may not want to always have to go to the Developer ribbon to get to it and click this. You might want to add it to your Quick Access toolbar. So let's take a look at how to do that. My Quick Access toolbar by default is up here above my ribbon. I can click the pull down arrow on the right side of it, choose More Commands. This toolbar is named Legacy Tools, so I'm going to choose All Commands so that they display in alphabetical order. Click in here to get its attention, press L on my keyboard to drop down to the L's, and now scroll to get to Legacy Tools. Add. Choose OK. It now displays on my Quick Access Toolbar. Now if I think I want to add a bunch of buttons to my Quick Access Toolbar, I would probably also go back, click the pull down arrow, and choose Show Below the Ribbon so that my Quick Access Toolbar moves down here. This way it will stretch all the way across the screen. And no matter what tab I'm on, I will always see my Quick Access Toolbar. Back to our forms. Now that I have this here, and I also have it on the Developer tab, I can click anywhere on my form and use it from either place to add the little controls that I'm used to being able to add to these forms. I'll put a few text fields in here. Now I'm going to scroll down a little ways and add some checkboxes. So I will click where I want them, go to my controls, and pick the checkbox and so on until my form is set up the way I want it. The next thing I want to talk to you about is locking the form, and that's really the reason I add these checkboxes. When a form is locked, it behaves like a form, and people can only click and type in the fields, and when they press the tab key, it moves them from field to field. If you forget to lock the form, however, it just hacks like a regular document where people can click and type anywhere, and if they were to try to fill in these fields by just typing, it actually wipes the field out with checkboxes if it's it's not locked, clicking them doesn't check and clear them like we're expecting it to do. If I want my document to behave like a form, then I need to lock it down. To do this, on the Developer tab, I'm going to go to the Protect group and click Protect Document. Choose Restrict Formatting and Editing. This opens the Formatting and Editing task pane, and I can say Allow only this type of editing. What type would that be? Filling in forms and then say yes, start enforcing protection. Now I can assign a password if I want. I don't have to though. I'll just choose OK. Now my document is locked and will behave like a form. If I come up here and start typing, it fills it in and as I press the tab key I go from field to field. When I get to the check boxes I can either click them to check them or press the space bar. Now I'm going to close this task pane and let's say that later I want to edit my form to make changes. At this point, I want to be able to type anywhere I want, so I need to go back to Protect Document, choose Restrict Formatting and Editing again, and tell it to stop protection. Now I can type anywhere I want in the document and add more fields, do whatever I need to do. When I'm done working on this document, I need to always remember to lock the form again before I turn it loose on people. To relock the form, once again, I would go back to Protect Document, Restrict Formatting and Editing. It's already filled out from before, so I just say yes, start enforcing protection. OK. And there you have it. Thanks for joining us.